Okay, we are now going, going to have Senator Kathy present Senate Bill 306. Senator Kathy, on your bill. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Members, um, Senate Bill 306 simply creates the punishment for um, sex trafficking of children. And I will say this, that the only reason that the bill is in its current posture is because I can't bring the death penalty for sex trafficking of children. Um, there is case law out there that says that you can't um, uh, bring the death penalty for something that um, doesn't involve a death. And so because of that, I found the next uh, most severe penalty that I could, and it's life in prison. Um, I am happy to answer any questions. I do not see any questions at this point. Senator Barrow for a question. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Is this a bill that you and I had yes, discussed? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So and, it's, and it was just, you know, I know initially when you and I talked, mm -hmm. it was a death penalty, and um, talking with staff and the legal community, they said, you, I mean, you could do it, but you're going to get thrown out in court because there, it is actually a Louisiana case that the Supreme Court has come in and said mm -hmm. that um, um, it was actually, I want to say it was in Jefferson Parish. Yeah. And it just says that you can't bring the death penalty for something that doesn't involve You know, the, the saddest part of, of this is the fact that you are even having to do a bill that says that a child cannot be trafficked. And um, someone just told me just yesterday about um, an eight-year-old that was trafficked by her mom. And, and I'm just telling you, my heart just I'm, just bleed. Yeah. It, it just I mean, bleed. They're, they're just horrific. I mean, I, you know, again, you and I have had an extensive mm -hmm. conversation about this. And um, the fact that somebody would do this to a child, um, you know, I, I'm the lady that was here earlier on the testimony and the other bills, um, who talking about, you know, doesn't create deterrent or anything like that. Well, you know, I believe in punishment and um, regardless of the deterrence or not. And so um, I think this is a fair punishment for uh, somebody that would do this to the vo most vulnerable of our population. Absolutely, especially when they have no voice in. Yes, ma'am. When they are trusting the person that's supposed to be taking care of them. Thank you. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Senator Barrow. Uh, uh, Senator Hodges for a question. Thank you, Senator, for bringing this bill. It's very important. We just had a conversation earlier in the Women's Caucus downstairs to talk about how few arrests there are for human trafficking. I wonder, I see we have some law enforcement people that are here. Are, are there, is there anybody that can tell us, has there actually been anyone arrested in the last six months for human trafficking or how many people that is? I'm sure they can probably get that for you. Um, because I think that's a problem that we're, we're talking about human trafficking. Well, we, we used to call that prostitution. Right. And, and so there's a, a, a there is a distinction there, but it's in the same um, category. Yes, and I think we have a real problem of people not being arrested and charged with a crime of this. And I don't know what we can do. I, I know your bill and I really appreciate you bringing this bill. But I think that's something that we need to address because we are not making a dent in this in this horrific problem. And so um, I would really love to have a conversation with our law enforcement leaders that are here. What can we do to make sure when this crime is committed and law enforcement is aware that they are actually arrested and charged and prosecuted for it? Sure. So thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And I'll, I'll try to track them down and see if I can get those numbers for you. That would be great. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Hodges. Uh, we do have uh, a couple of witnesses that would like to speak in support of the bill. So Chris Alexander, come to the table, and Dr. Rooney, a forensic nurse. Thank you, Senator Morris. Morris. Uh, Chris Alexander, Louisiana Citizen Advocacy Group. I know people personally who've been directly affected by this crime, and in a very real sense, it does involve a death because they don't ever fully recover from it, particularly children. Uh, and so I come here today, we've had hundreds of people uh, contact our organization in support of this legislation, and I want to go on record as supporting it. Uh, and in order to, one of the things we could do in order to, to stop it is 
to, I know it's not directly germane, is maybe at some point consider closing our border uh, because we've got thousands and thousands of vulnerable children coming across our border being sex trafficked right now. Uh, but I strongly support the legislation and I appreciate Senator Kathy for bringing it. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony. Dr. Rooney, if you'd state your name and give us your testimony, please, ma'am. Yes, Dr. Ikoi Rooney, I am a forensic nurse and I am very grateful to Senator Kathy for, for bringing forward this legislation. I wanna to speak to what human trafficking looks like in Louisiana. I've been a, a forensic nurse for 25 years and human trafficking is, it's not with a movie show. It's not uh, usually huge organizations trafficking children, although that takes place. But often it's family, it's parents, it's uncles, it's sometimes boyfriends or girlfriends, sometimes it's for money, Sometimes it's sex trafficking for, I want you to bring home enough money so that I can buy cigarettes. I want you to come home with a six pack of beer or you're not coming home. And so this happens, obviously, um, you know, we, we have to look at so many different types of cases. It's not even, in, in our poorest communities here in Louisiana, there is a lot of it. It is common, it is accepted in many communities, um, in, and it takes place you know, in trailer parks, in housing projects, in uh, poor neighborhoods where children have absolutely no choice and no rights, which they don't anyway. However, in these circumstances, I think looking at the broadest scope of that definition is important. So we really need to recognize that human trafficking is prevalent in our state. Um, you know, I think that that is the, the big thing that we need to understand. Many of the people that I've taken care of myself who came in for sexual assault and then we identify that it was human trafficking are uh, some of the most vulnerable people, people with disabilities, um, people who, you know, back when we used to have food stamps, they would say, you know, I will give you my food stamps if you do this. And, you know, it's people with diagnosed um, intellectual disabilities. So just some of the most vulnerable people. So I'm grateful for this legislation and anything we can do to support uh, putting an end to human sex trafficking in Louisiana, especially of our, of our children. Thank you for your testimony. Senator Barrow does have a question. Yes, thank you so much. Um, thank you very much for actually highlighting that and really speaking to what it looks like. Uh, because oftentimes those who are trafficked don't even realize it. They just think that it's a, a normal process and this is what you have to do. And so I really appreciate you actually highlighting that and, and bringing that more to attention. And what I would like to see us do, uh, Representative Hodges, is actually start doing more um, PR around that as well because a lot of people don't understand and know what it is. But this bill is definitely going to help take some of the bad actors uh, off the off the road, hopefully. And at the appropriate time, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to report Senate Bill 306 favorably. Thank you, Senator Barrow. I believe we're getting right at the appropriate time. In addition to the two uh, people who have just testified, we have Gary Bennett, Louisiana Sheriff's Association, in support, not wishing to speak, Mary Lavery, uh, in support, not wishing to speak, and John Harmon, in support, not wishing to speak. Uh, we have no red cards in opposition, so Senator Kathy, you're free to close. Ask for a favorable passage. I think that's the magic word. Uh, Senator Barrow has moved to report Senate Bill 306 favorably. Is there any opposition? There being no objection, it, uh, Senate Bill 306 will be reported Thank favorably, and we will pass around a co-author sheet. Please do. Uh, the staff can do that.